We're going to dive into the roadmaps for Gear VR, Rift, it's and It's good news that John Carmack will be We're going to show some incredible new games yeah. and experiences yeah, that are coming to the Oculus platform. Some really great experiences. Gear, Gear VR and is out now. We're going to take a look at some new innovations that are helping to shape VR. They have a beta version out. Um, but it's before actually, we begin, you know, kind of straddling the line like between beta and consumer, but uh, they haven't done a real full-on consumer launch yet. It's a Samsung uh, product. Not very expensive, but of course you have to have a Galaxy S6 right. or a Note 4 right. to use it, the entire <laughs> yeah. which I do, so I It's have supercharged it. everything. Great, and it looks to like we have Jeff. about why he's so excited about oh, virtual reality, please welcome... Mark Zuckerberg. Well, oh. maybe it is a little bit of a there Facebook event, Ben Lang, because uh, Zuckerberg, right. of course, bought Oculus. How long ago was that? That was 2014. 2014. Thanks, Brendan. Question. And hey, everyone. Hey. A couple of years ago, I stopped by the Oculus offices and met with Palmer. So this is a surprise, Brendan I would say, Holmberg. as far as the. And the they gave me yeah, because Facebook's been pretty hands off, way. haven't they? Yeah, absolutely. And I'd seen VR before, but this was by far the best experience. I'd ever seen. It was like teleporting to some other place just by putting on a headset. It's kind of Mark belatedly so explaining why he didn't bought really Oculus. Want to leave. <laughs> now, when, when they finally did make me leave, uh, I realized that there was another reason why I was so excited about this. And it's because I was seeing the next great technology platform that's going to define the way that we all connect in the That future. is something Facebook said all along. Yeah. Facebook's yeah. mission yep. is to make the world more open and connected. And we believe that the more power that people have to share and experience all kinds of different things in the world, the better the world will be. And over time, the way that we share and experience the world is changing. So this is As the trick, is to on, knit those two ideas together. To, uh, yeah. share How does this help? Richer and richer exactly. and more immersive uh, types of media and content. He talks about Facebook, the if future of social being in VR. Five or 10 years, and uh, most of what we not quite and, and that easy and to picture. Online, when I watched the 360 video they put up yesterday Today, on the news stream, it's kind of hard. Is visual, it's right? it's, it's all a disconnect because it's a different, that, that completely see. different experience than reading text and on a web page. Right now yeah. we're entering yeah. a golden age of video. This is the video that they posted, of, of course. Yeah. Share oh, no, it's and, not. And it's, and it's a, but this is going to be a Star Wars moving, themed. And, and animated. It's going to be a lot of Star Wars stuff. They'll probably talk about that video. It makes sense. It's perfect for what they're talking about today. It does show how VR makes sense on social media. Right. They had a session with uh, Industrial Light and Magic here actually talking about some VR Star Wars stuff, which is pretty cool. Mm. That and, ILMX Live is incredible. And that voice you hear is one Jeffrey Grubb of VentureBeat. Uh, he's on the GamesBeat, in the GamesBeat department. Uh, welcome, uh, He looks like a Thank gamer, you. and he's going to do this stand-up, ladies and gentlemen. So <laughs> That's right, stand-up desk. <laughs> <laughs> he's a stand-up journalist, stand-up guy. Right. This is the video that you can see and fan can see right now on uh, your Facebook news feed. It's pretty cool. Facebook is down. So yeah, so this is this is um, a great example of what's awesome about VR. Watching this event on VR, as you as you mentioned, all the action is in one little place. Right. Like you just want to see what's on the stage. You don't want to see look around and see the audience. You might. Depends who's sitting next to you. And experience anything. And that's why I'm so excited about the future of Oculus. When I first tried Oculus, I thought, okay, now VR is ready. Now, of course, it wasn't actually ready. It, it, after about two years, <laughs> uh, we're still pushing the boundaries. And they told me that after I bought it. Mark. <laughs> but in just it's a few years, ready. VR has gone from being this science fiction dream to an awesome reality. And now we all here have a chance to change the way that we all play, communicate. Awesome reality. That acronym's already taken. So that's why I'm so excited reality. to be here with all of you guys today. All of you are inventing the next major platform. Now, this is going to grow slowly. If you think about the arrival of computers or smartphones, the first units, uh, the first student ship, did not ship tens of millions in the first year. But they proved an idea and made it real. And eventually, these platforms uh, for developers and creators became major platforms for people to share their creativity with the entire world and to build a different and better world. Facebook is committed to this for the long term. We're going to work hard to serve this community. I want to thank you guys for all being a part of this journey, and we can't wait to see what you're going to build. 